Hey, this is Mike Addis. Thanks for joining us today. If you're interested in what we have to say on this video, I hope you will be. Watch the video right to the very end. Hit the subscriber button. We'll just keep these videos coming and we have some real great videos that are going to be coming out. So for those people that have known me in the past, I did over 200 YouTube videos, but I took everything down. So we're starting all over again and the first video is going to be coming out soon and it's a professionally done video. I'm doing this video. I'm not sure if it's even going to end up on YouTube, but I'm going to do it for you anyway. It's going to just take a few minutes. I'm going to take you from beginning to end on how you make a decision to change what you're doing right now and to get into your own business. Bottom line, uh, I bring in about $100,000 income into my bank account every month. Every month that comes into my bank account. And I net somewhere around 50%, 47 to 50%. So I'm netting about $50,000 a month. But you want to get that income coming in now, today. So what we're going to talk about is going to go through a few things step by step. I think there's like five steps. I didn't count them all, so I'm going to look at some notes as I'm talking to you. So step number one, you're in your situation just like I've been in my situation years and years and years ago, and I didn't want to work for anybody anymore, so I decided to go to work for myself. And all this information is going to be on the Mike Addis blog post too, and you can go look at the books if you want to read the books. I wrote all this down. Just go to Mike Addis, A-D-D-I-S, on Amazon. You can check all this stuff out when you have time, and some of them are free. Uh, anyway, when I made the decision I wanted to transition from being an employee to owning my own business, the reason why I wanted to do that is because I didn't want to limit my income. I wanted to have unlimited income. I was making about $160,000 in today's dollars and I quit that job to work for myself. Hard to believe, but I actually did it. And I made more in my first month which is about almost $70,000, and that was back in the 80s. And that's, that's worth like $130,000, $140,000 income in my first month. So the first thing you have to do, and the first thing that I did was, you must be motivated to do something. That's the biggest problem for everyone. They just, they look at all these YouTube videos and they just can't get motivated. Motivation is an internal thing, not an external thing. And the way you motivate yourself is you must assume responsibility for everything that happens in your life and not blame anything for any, anyone or anything, what's going on in your life, spouse, government, employers, forget that stuff. It's all baloney. You have to just say, hey, I'm, res I'm assuming responsibility today. When I do that, I have made the transition into my own motivation. Going to a Tony Robbins seminar and paying this guy three, three Three, four thousand dollars and jumping up and down. Seven hours are gone because COVID is over. It's ended all that stuff. You have to you have to motivate yourself. So when you assume responsibility for everything that's going on in your life and stop blaming everybody else for everything, then you you've actually gone into the motivation to go to the next step. I got some notes, so I'm gonna actually look at the notes today. I usually don't do this, but I'm gonna do it because I want to stay on message. So number two is once you've decided that you're going to make the change, you have to decide, are you going to be an employee? Continue to being an employee. Nothing wrong with being an employee. There's a lot of employees that make millions of dollars, like professional athletes like Patrick Mahomes or soccer players like uh, Lionel Messi and those guys. They make millions of dollars, but I don't have that ability. And I really don't want to work for anybody. I want to be independent. And I want to be independent in my mind, and I want to be financially and economically independent from everyone else. So step number two is, am I going to be an entrepreneur? Entrepreneur that creates money from nothing, from zero. So I take zero and I'm going to make money today. And that's what we're going to talk about. Stay to the end. We'll, we'll cover that. Or you're going to be an employee. Now, being an employee, the problem with that is you become addicted to the paycheck. It's like being on crack cocaine. Okay, once you're hooked to the paycheck, it's real hard to get off of it. Matter of fact, it's almost impossible to get off the paycheck. And I, I took the paycheck for 10 years. I worked for the largest corporations in the world, General Electric, Prudential Insurance Company, Daimler-Benz out of Stuttgart. I was managers in all those positions, made a lot of money, ran Arby's franchises in the Pacific Northwest and Western Canada. So I know what it's like to be an employee years and years ago. So now you're saying, well, okay, I'm going to make the transition. I'm going to be an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur is a French word for I'm going to work for myself. Okay, so you've made that decision. We have to do things today. We're going to get to this point. Just hang with me just for a few more minutes because I only got to, I can't go beyond 10 minutes on this video or I'm already up to five. Once you decide that you're going to be an entrepreneur and you're going to be in business for yourself, 
you have to decide whether you're going to sell a product or you're going to sell a service. So you're going to get two choices, product or service. A service would be like the SEO lady that, that I work with right now. She does all of the search engine optimizer work or the web designer. He designs web pages for me, a logo guy and video guy. They produce a service, okay, accountant, lawyer, doctor, gardener, and all the things that I do, I do from home. If you're going to do a service, you want to do it on the internet. You can't go running around anymore. That's over. I'm not a service guy because when you provide a service, you have to have a talent to do that. I don't have a talent to provide any services. What I do know how to do is I know how to find products that are big brand name, Nike, Adidas, Reebok. I like technology, so Apple, Samsung, Lenovo, all the big name products. I find those big name products and I put them on platforms. Okay, so now that's number three. I've decided to go forward with a product in my case. You may want to create your own product. The, the ability to create a product from nothing and import it from China the chances of you're actually selling anything and making any money, because I've talked to many, many guys that have done this, and they end up broke with all this product. It's like less than 1%. So if you're going to create a product, a physical product that you're going to sell somebody like yoga mats, now guess what? The chances of you making any money on that is less than 1%. I know because I've talked to the big Amazon guys that actually do this for a living, and guess what? They got out of the business. Now they're in the consulting business, because doing it is like near impossible. There's hundreds of guys in the internet that will tell you how easy it is. It's not easy. Just like drop shipping. We're going to talk about drop shipping in other videos, but let's stay on, on focus now. So now I've decided to sell big brand names. That's number three. Number four, what am I going to do about it? There's only two platforms. Actually, there's three, but there's only really two platforms you can start selling stuff on. The biggest companies in the world, Dell, Lenovo, Microsoft, all sell their products on eBay and Amazon. I'm sorry, it's just the reality. You say, well, I don't want to be an eBay seller. It's not that do anything to do with an eBay seller. You can always open your own e-commerce store. I'll tell you how to do the e-commerce store easy and it'll be cost efficient. That's later, but for now, you have to start today. That's the most important thing. You have plenty of things around that you can sell. You don't need, I've got books and videos and headphones that I don't even need and computers. I'm in the computer business, so I sell millions of dollars worth of computers, primarily used, but I'm now selling new. I'll get into the details if you want to get into the technology game, but it all applies. It's all the same. It doesn't matter what product you're selling. So you must open those accounts today. Don't even think about it. This is number five. Number five is the problem is that most people overthink too much. It's too much thinking is not good. Once you see a clear picture of what it is that you want, whatever it is in life, personal or business, you must move forward and you must do it today. The longer you wait, the less there is a chance that you'll ever do anything in your life. Trust me, I know from personal experiences. People tell you, well, you can't get, quit that job. I was a district manager for Chrysler Corporation in 1975. I graduated in 75. I got a job with them in 75. First, I went to GE. Then I went to Chrysler Corporation. Today's dollars, I was making $100,000 a year in today's dollars back in the 70s. And I quit that job because I didn't want to continue working for somebody, commuting every day, putting up with the politics and all that crap. You know what I'm talking about out there. I mean, there's, there's nothing I'm telling you that you don't already know. No one's going to support your efforts, especially people that you're with that are closest to you like family. Okay. You must do what you have to do because guess what? When you're successful, all those people that are laughing at you, that are getting in their car and commuting to work with their COVID masks on, you're going to be sitting on the front porch drinking your cup of coffee and you're going to be making money online. I live in North San Diego, California. I can live anywhere I want in the country. I have the money to do it. You'll be able to do this soon. So those are the top five things. You've got to begin today. And finally, like I just mentioned, I'm going to say it again. Don't listen to anybody. Think that this is what you want to do, and you're going to do it today. There is no tomorrow. The gurus always talk about this, and it's the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. It makes absolutely no sense. They say, be in the present. You can't help but be in the present. Everything is in the present. 
There is no future or past. You can think about it all you want, but you're always in the present moment. So now take the time, hit the subscriber button because we want, want to keep communicating. We've got some great videos. We're going to get into the real details of it. This is the first step, basic step to get going. Get the product, list it, open the accounts, even if it's just a few items. We're going to move to bigger and better things like drop shipping. I'm in the process of putting $10 million of product on my e-commerce store. We're going to get to all that later, but you first must take step one. This is Mike Addis, North San Diego, California, in a beautiful city called Carlsbad. Stay touch. Have a great day. See you on the next video.